oh, hey, have you ever wanted to blend data from six, seven, maybe more Google Analytics data sources in Data Studio, but you can't because they limit you to five? Me too, and I have a solution. We're going to use the Google Analytics add-on for Google Sheets to aggregate as much data as we want and then push it into Data Studio. All right, I have a brand new Google Sheet open where I'm going to be putting in data from six different analytics sources, doing some aggregations, and then pushing it all into Data Studio. So the first thing that we have to do is make sure the Google Analytics add-on for Sheets is installed. So if I go up to add-ons in the menu up here, I do already have it, but if you don't, you can go to Get Add-ons and just do a search for Google Analytics. And this is the one you're going to want to install. So if you click on it, you'll see a blue install button and it should finish up in just a minute or two. And then at that point, you'll see it in the menu like I have here. So once you have that, we're going to create a new report. And this is what's going to pull in data from a single analytics source. So we're going to have to do this a total of six times. So you'll see this menu pop up on the right here where you can name your report. And this should be something that will let you know what website, company, subdomain you're talking about and then you can select the correct view from Google Analytics and choose your metrics, dimensions, and any segments that you want to pull in. So I'm just going to name this website one, and then I'm going to choose my account property and view. And then for metrics, I'm just going to pull in a few simple metrics. So I'll just do users, sessions, and goal conversion rate. So once we have all six analytics sources in here, we're going to add the users together across all six, add the sessions together, and then create an average for goal conversion rate. And then for dimension, I'm going to use date. So this is going to split the data up by each individual day in our date range. Um, and this is going to help us use the date selector in Data Studio. So if we didn't use this dimension, it'll just give you the grand total for the date range for all of our metrics. And then if you try to move the dates around in Data Studio, it's not going to work. So no matter what you choose, you'll just see that total since it doesn't have it broken out by day. So it'll basically allow it to perform those calculations on the spot depending on the time range you choose up here. All right, so I'm going to skip segments and just create my report. So this is the output that you'll get. You'll see a column with your report name. It's going to default the start and end dates to 30 days ago up until yesterday. These can be changed to anything that can be used with the core reporting API. I'll link to this article and you can refer to start date and end date in here. And you can see that you can choose a specific date to start on or end on or use the today, yesterday or end days ago where you can say 30 days ago, 90 days ago, whatever you choose. So I am going to change this to a specific start date for the beginning of this year. And this will kind of help us with our automation process later on. So I'll explain that when we get there. But for now, I'm going to change the start date, leave this to yesterday. And this is just showing the metrics and dimensions that we're pulling in. So basically, I'm going to repeat this process five more times for each of the GA views. A few moments later. All right, so we have a report created for each of our six websites. So I am just going to change the start date across all of them so it's consistent. And everything else here looks good. So at this point, we're ready to run our reports. That is going to be what's going to pull in all of the actual data that we're defining here. So if we go back up to the top here, we can run reports. And it'll just start pulling everything in. We can see tabs start to pop up at the bottom that's pulling in our data by each day in our date range. All right. So we can see the broken out data here from our start date of January 1st up until yesterday, June 25th. And then we have the totals for that date range at the top up here. So in order to pull this into Data Studio, we need to create a separate summary sheet where we're going to perform all our calculations. So I'm going to add a sheet and call it summary. 
And it does have to be formatted in a certain way to pull into Data Studio properly and for everything to read in the right way. Um, I'll link to this article as well that'll give you more details on that. For this report, it's going to be pretty simple. There's not too much we have to take into account. So I'm just going to put in my headers for each of our dimensions and metrics that we chose. And they don't have to be exactly as they're written here. I'll do date users, sessions, and then, for example, goal conversion rate is right now in its full form here. And I'm just going to shorten that up a little bit. So these really can be anything you want, but obviously just something that you'll want to recognize in Data Studio so you know which dimension and metric you're talking about. Okay, so I'm going to put in the first date in our time range here, January 1st, and then I'm going to make our first calculated field for users where I'm going to add the users from each Google Analytics property for January 1st. Okay, make sure this looks okay. Enter that in, and then you can just drag this across and just do a quick double check that you're looking at the right columns. So column C for sessions, and then D for goal conversion rate. And then this one is going to be an average, so we just have to make a quick adjustment here to divide this all by 6. All right, and then we can just drag this whole thing down, and it'll calculate everything for our date range. So again, I'll just quick check a few of the cells that everything is formatted properly, and it looks like it is. And then I'm going to leave a little extra room at the bottom for future dates. So I'll show later on why that's important. It gets into the automation area again. So I'll hold off on that, but I am going to leave the extra room. So right now, this is ready to go into Data Studio. Over here, I'm going to add data, select Google Sheets, and then search for the spreadsheet that we're using. And I don't see it, so I'm going to refresh data, the page, and see if we can get that to show up. Okay, there it is. Just needed to refresh. So you can see the spreadsheet, and you can choose the worksheet too. So I'm going to select the summary worksheet. And then I do want to include the first row as headers. And I don't have any hidden or filtered cells, but I'm going to keep this checked just in case I do in the future. Then I won't forget. So I'm going to add that in. Okay, and then you can insert any chart or scorecard that you want to. So I'm going to use a scorecard, and you'll see the data source pop up here on the right. So our summary worksheet from our Google Analytics Google Sheet. And then our dimension, and then if we click on metrics, we can see all of the metrics that we were pulling in. So I'm going to keep this as users, and then if I view this and switch our date range around, it's going to auto-update. So that's really it for pulling everything into Data Studio. And then to automate this whole thing, you can go back over to your spreadsheet and schedule the report. You can enable this to run automatically, and then you can choose hour, day, week, month. So I'm going to have this update every day between 6 and 7 a.m. So it's ready for my work day. So I'm going to save that. And then what's going to happen is tomorrow, sometime between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m., each individual sheet is going to update with today's data. So if I go over here... This is going to add a row for 626, which is today. And then the reason why we left all this room in our summary report at the bottom 
is so it can automatically update these. So once each individual sheet is updated, it can update these aggregations. So if we didn't have it set up already with the zeros and the date range, it won't update this summary sheet. And then that means it won't update in Data Studio either. So this kind of sets it up. It'll fill all these in. And then once you're in your Data Studio report, you can select today's date when it's tomorrow and everything will automatically update. So this really keeps you out of the whole process and you should just be able to change your date range around in Data Studio moving forward and everything in your sheet should update as long as you have these rows ready to go. So not a bad idea, obviously, to check back to make sure everything is going okay and you still have these rows set up. So that's really it. I hope this helped. Now you can blend more than five Google Analytics data sources in Data Studio. Good luck.